Hello everyone, this is Crop and Cassie bringing you the follow-up video to last week's Time Out Thursday on Platinum Scraps. Last week I showed you how to create your very own logo using Microsoft Word and any image of your choice. Due to the request of some of our followers, this week I'm going to show you how I use text or shape boxes to place my logo in the correct space for printing. When I do my cards, 9 times out of 10, I'm using the Recollections brand cards from Michaels. These cards come in two sizes, 4 by 5 and a half, that's the smaller card at 25 per pack, or 5 by 6 and a half, which is the larger card, and there's 50 cards in the pack. For the purposes of this video, we're going to focus on the smaller card, which was 4 by 5 and a half inches. The first thing I do is I go in Word and I change my paper size to match the size of the card. The size on the card, which is 4 by 5 and a half, is actually the size of the card when it's folded. When you create your card to run through your printer, you need to make the paper size 8 by 5 and a half. So to do that, you go to your File menu, Page Setup. Go to your margins tab, and this is optional, but I personally always change my margin so I get more space out of my paper. Um, we'll change it to a half an inch all the way around the card. Then you wanna go to your paper tab, and there's an option under paper size for custom, but as soon as you enter the measurements, it will automatically change for you. So for the width of the card, we enter 5.5, and for the height of the card, 8 inches. And as you can see, the paper size automatically changed to custom. Click OK. And this is the actual size of your card. Now, in order for me to get that proper placement, I add a square on the image, and I make the square the size that's printed on the card pack, which is 4 by 5 and a half. So I double click on my square. And I fill my square, just any color, you're going to remove it before printing, just so that I get a clearer picture on the card. And you'll see once we go back to the card. So the height is 4 inches and the width is 5 and a half. Click OK. And I will move this up to the very top. And now you only have to work with one half of your card. This white portion of your card is the actual back of the card, and the pink represents the front. So now I'm going to go and grab my logo, which I have open on another, do another document. And I'll paste it here. And all you have to do is move it down to the center, very bottom and center of your card. You can move it to the left, to the, to the right. There's no rhyme or reason. When I look at cards in the store, it's either to the right or in the center, but it's your own personal choice. Add it to the center. Remove the shape that you used and then print. This will guarantee you that your logo will be on the back of your card at the very bottom. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at platinumscraps at gmail.com and you can always leave a comment on our blog at www.platinumscraps.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.